Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to World of Warcraft, the Burning Crusade Classic, and our Drain Eye Shaman playthrough. We are back in Loch Modan today, we're going to start off by hunting down old Sudi, and uh, removing his head from his body, and then, then we'll head out to the east here, we have a lot of stuff to do on the eastern part of the zone. Uh, we also need to find Bingle's tools. We have ogres to take on, so yeah, lots to do. I'm going to grab this first so that when we're over here to the east, we'll be able to turn this in. Might be a little bit of a challenge for us at level 18, but I think we can probably handle it. We'll warm ourselves up on this level 11 bear. Hope you guys are all doing well today. Thank you so much for clicking on the video and choosing to spend some of your time here with me. I do appreciate that. Let's grab some copper here. I do have to make a stop at the bank to deposit some of our resources here. The linen, we could probably use all of it to make our heavy linen bandages, and that would probably get us skilled up to a point where we can do wool, but we don't have any wool yet, so. Not really in a big hurry to get it leveled up. I think this little trail right here is where we need to go to go up and find this guy. I did train level 18, we didn't get anything exactly new, we got some new ranks of a couple of different spells, including a new rank of heal that I don't have on the bar yet, because we really don't need a higher rank of heal. It's just going to cost more mana right now. But we are, we are trained up to level 18 though. I guess this guy can path around. Maybe, maybe he's not just hanging out back here, but... Oh no, he is. He is just definitely just hanging out back here. Uh, nope, that was not what I wanted to do. Let's get a heal going. Let's drink some milk. Level 20, we should be able to take him just fine. He's not an elite or anything like that. And yeah, there we go. Perfect. Pretty simple. Pretty simple. I know a lot of you guys probably aren't interested in other games, but I started playing a game today called Wildermyth, and uh, it had been something that had kind of just flown under my radar. And then I looked into it, and yeah, the game is actually pretty amazing. It's a strategy RPG that kind of almost acts like a tabletop where like you are the dungeon master to some extent and you control the characters so it's an evolving story it's this dynamic story that uses these really well written pieces of uh of writing that kind of weaves it together based on like where you go and the choices that you make 
and your characters grow and change over time. For instance, today one of our characters actually lost his leg. So now we have a, a peg-legged warrior because uh, he survived the battle, but doesn't have a, a leg anymore. And yeah, all kinds of cool dynamic stuff can happen between your characters. Part of it kind of reminds me of RimWorld, how your characters have like little personalities and how those character stories kind of develop organically over time. And yeah, it's set in a really cool fantasy world. The writing is really good, the music is really good, and it's just like one of those games that I don't know how I missed it, but I'm having a really, really awesome time in it. It's pretty chill vibes, and I think it's kind of like right up my alley for the kind of game that I like to play. Where I like to get in and just like get immersed, have a good story, have good music, have some beautiful arts. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a really cool game, if any of you guys are interested in uh, checking it out. Have that going now on the channel. I don't know how, how long I'll go with it. I guess as, if people are interested, I'll, I'm going to keep playing it. I'm definitely going to keep playing it on my own. And what I'll maybe do is maybe I'll just do longer videos of it. That way it's just like less frequent. Less frequent but longer. We need crocodile meat. The weird thing is... We had gotten all of our meat. I, I must have done that thing where I sell... I sell the items that we need. Yeah, I definitely, definitely sold the crocodile meat, guys. Hmm. That's why we don't have another turn in over here, right? Because I sold all the meat. Makes sense. Seems like we'll be able to get it back pretty quickly. And there we go. That's uh, all of our meat back. Uh, I want to go find his tools, but I, I don't know that I want to swim across the entire place. I guess it's not that big of a lake. Let's just swim it. This is where water walking would, uh, would come in handy, wouldn't it? We'll find the tools. Uh, do we want to head over here? Not really yet. I I'd like to get to level 19 before we head back here, so maybe we'll find the tools. A dark threat looms. We have to go up here too. This is level 18. We gotta get this stuff turned in. I probably should have started down here and did a, did a counterclockwise loop. That might have been the smarter thing to do.
I am not seeing an item over here. Oh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> okay. There's our friendly totem going ahead and pulling for us. It's, it's going to be one of those days again. I'm like, I don't know what it is with me and the Shaman. I really don't know what it is. I, I, I feel like oftentimes I feel almost too powerful on it because of the burst damage we can deal. And that just gets me into like so much trouble. Like I, I don't want to be careful on the class. I want to run in like a magical warrior would run in and just start crushing things in the head with the mace and flinging spells and shocking people. And yeah, all that works for a minute. And then I realize that we're wearing leather armor and we just get... We just get freaking crushed. <laughs> as soon as we start taking any hits, uh, we die. <laughs> it's like, as long as we can avoid taking hits with like Stone Claw Totem and shocking people's spells, we're fine. But yeah, as soon as we start getting hit, that's pretty much it. Can't get any of our heals off quickly enough to make a big difference. I probably should have went for uh, a healing wave there instead of Gift of the Naru. Maybe that would have saved us. Not having any potions is also pretty bad. Yeah, this will probably be the character that I die on the most because of how I feel about it. I really, really like it. Uh, that being said, I'm still having a great time. But I do tend to overestimate our capabilities. Which can get tiresome to watch. Sure, it gets annoying to see me like charge into a group of four guys. You're probably wondering, what the hell is he doing? <laughs> I'm doing exactly what it looks like I'm doing. I'm getting killed. And then look, sometimes we kill guys in two hits. It's like, oh, okay, well, that's why I get overconfident. That's exactly why, like, what am I supposed to do with this shit? Am I not going to pull all four of these guys if I run in here? This guy's going to walk right up to us while we're drinking. Oh, goody, he about faced. We definitely are ready for the next level of water. I, I don't know why I haven't done that yet. That was a little bit better handled.
This looks like a horrifying cluster. I'm really glad that we waited on this until we were much higher level because otherwise we'd probably die here a lot more than we're going to. And we're probably going to die at least one more time. Guess we just need to methodically clean them out. Cancel the fire totem so it doesn't just kind of start acting all on its own here. Yeah, this is this is a nightmare. <laughs> this is a nightmare. Oh yeah. Nope, 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 nope. Yeah, I mean, I'd be surprised if we don't die. Yeah, we're still in combat. Like, this guy, this guy. Oh, now you give up. Yeah, now you give up. Now that we come out to meet you. So how are we going to deal with this? How are we going to deal with this? Okay, that worked. Pull it, pulling him back worked. Inventory is full. Holy crap. What the heck? Yeah, okay. Great. Uh, I thought we had decent bags, but... Oh, gosh. I kind of want to try to avoid some of these guys. Let's come over here.
All right, okay, I'll take it. Uh, or not, because my inventory is full. Inventory is full. There we go. Uh, what do we want to do now? Yeah, I think we're going to go over to the bridge for two reasons. I need to see what these quests are, and I need to vendor, and there is a repair guy up there, so let's head that way. And we'll grab the quest, and we'll dump all the junk out of our inventory. I think they might give us uh, an easy kill quest for some Dark Iron guys as well, if I remember correctly. Uh, but I'm not sure, I've only done this quest maybe once. You know, because I used to play without Questy, and uh, it's easy to miss stuff like this, that uh, we don't have a breadcrumb that ever takes us here, so if you don't come up here and just kind of grab it on your own, then you are likely to never find the quest. Thank the stars, someone is concerned about the well-being of the dam. First the destruction of the Thandal Span, and then the pillaging of Dunmortar. I have no doubt the dam will be the target of the next Dark Iron threat. Most of the security detail here was reassigned to the Alliance front, including my top inspector. That's why I need you. I spotted some Dark Iron sappers milling about the eastern ramp of the dam, investigate the area, and bring back a clue. Okay, uh, yep, but before that, let's go visit the vendor. to meet you. Now, I have to remember not to sell the crocolisk meat, so let's just leave that right where it is. Yeah, I think that's really all we can do for now. We just don't have a lot of inventory space, uh, just at all. So that is what it is. Not a lot we can really do about it right now. I could craft up some more bandages, you know, like a hundred of them. <laughs> that could do it. Just a hundred bandages we can craft. I'm gonna have to let this run today when I'm done. Uh, that being said, we can craft a few of them, right? We can craft a few, but... Yeah, I'm gonna have to let this run and just walk away from it and max out... Uh, and after that, we'll be looking for wool. That should be good for now. Uh, apparently the clue we're looking for is just to... Wait, 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 wait. Something isn't right here. Investigate the area near the eastern ramp of the dam. Really? I don't remember this. I don't remember this at all. I remember having to find something in the water.
Okay, no, it's right here. Perfect. The suspicious looking barrel contains a strange smelling powder. Whoops. You take the sample of the strange smelling powder. Okay. Gee, I wonder if it's explosives. Hmm. This is an alarming discovery to say the least. If my suspicions are correct, this is some type of explosive powder. This must be analyzed by the explosive experts so we know just what we're dealing with here. Ashland Stone Smirk was assigned to the re to the regiment guarding Dunmotor and the Thandal Span. I need you to make a grave and perilous journey, travel through the Elgaz Gate, follow the road through the wetlands and seek out Stone Smirk and Dunmodir. Heed my advice, stick to the roads, and stop hey, for nothing. It's taking us into the wetlands, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, we're not doing that right now. Nice try, though. But yeah, I don't think we're going to do that right now. Kind of forgot about the wetlands as a questing zone. <laughs> It's not it's not my favorite zone. In fact, it's probably right up there with one of my least favorites. So I don't really know that we'll be doing a lot of wetlands unless we just run out of alternatives, but between Red Ridge and Duskwood, I really don't see that happening. Really would rather not quest in the wetlands at all if we can help it. All right, so what do we want to do now? Let's just go deal with this. It might be a little bit challenging for us, but uh, we're already out here. I, I don't want to head all the way south, just to head all the way back to the north. Um, we'll gain level 19 in a minute. And that's all we're going to get, so... Okay, okay, fine. I will fight you. We just take a crap ton of damage from basically anything and everything. That's the only bad part of the class so far is like trying to play up close and personal. We are just kind of getting walloped on. These ogres seem really small for ogres in Classic. Uh, for some reason I remember them being bigger, but maybe I fought them on a character that was smaller. I don't know what exactly is happening here. Are we going to have the water to do this? That's a good question. Probably not. Ogres and brutes. Ogres, brutes, enforcers that we need Chuck Soul's head. Chuck Soul is going to be at the back of everything. What we don't need are shaman. We don't need shaman at all. Uh, but yeah, that being said, we're gonna have to fight some shaman now, aren't we?
Let's do Gift of the Naru here. Uh, I just noticed this is a, a group quest. Which usually means an elite. So maybe we won't be doing that right now. Uh, all the enforcers, they're probably going to be back inside the cave. We'll get the enforcers we need. We'll complete the kill quest. But if we don't find any help for the name guy, we're not going to do it right now. Oh, we need brutes. Brutes are the ones we don't have. Okay. I really don't want to uh, fight the shaman here at all, actually, and he, this one's kicking the crap out of us. Oh good, perfect, perfect. Yeah, we really don't have the uh, water to be out here anyway, to be honest. And we haven't found any brutes yet, which means all the brutes have to be back in the burrow den. Which is probably going to be more dangerous than it is out here. It doesn't seem, with any amount of zone hopping, we're, we're just not getting ahead of the quest. It's really weird, um, actually. It's just pretty weird that we're not getting ahead of any of the quests. We've been going between Westfall and here and it's just it's not really helping us I feel like zone hopping on the horde side is like so much more beneficial I remember on the warrior we were basically doing all green quests like all the way into level 30s And here, we have a couple of green quests to turn in, but we didn't do them when they were green. They're, they're just, they just happen to be green now. Oh, gosh. I'm going to regret this. Oh, he didn't pull this guy. Well, damn. I was kind of hoping we could just like avoid this guy, but I guess not. No. 
And he resisted flame shock. Perfect. So now we are out of mana again. This is just wonderful. We have two milks left. Um, hmm. <laughs> I was not prepared to do any of this today. Yep. Woefully underprepared for this. All the resists. Every single spell resisted. Uh, good thing we got a level there. That was really timely. Okay, I thought this was the entrance to their den, but it's not. I'm stupid. The entrance is over here. And we still need one more brute. Happy days, happy days. Now we have to fight through all these guys. Uh, which I don't have the mana to do. I don't have the mana to fight through all these guys, so... Uh, what are we going to do here? Are you going to let me sneak in here? You might. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't I don't need a mystic though. We could clear one out and see if we can get to a brute, but I I just don't think it's going to happen. Mystic, 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 mystic. Brute. Okay. So there is one. Yeah, I need to pull one of these guys, get this done, and then we need to get out of here. Okay, uh, well, yeah, let's, let's try to get out of here. Uh, yeah, that's not good. I'm going to try to get to the south here without aggroing everybody. Oh, good. Just knock us on our ass. That's, that's great. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, I love it. Uh, we'll see if we can avoid getting killed while running away. It could happen. It could happen. Uh, we're going to try to come over here and turn all this stuff in now. Lots of other stuff that could easily kill us on the way there, though. 
Could just get a little bandage in really quick. Didn't really help that much. to head over to the east to the hunter's lodge and then we should be able to hearth back to Thelsimar. And then after that I, I think that we're basically done here. I mean it feels like we're probably done. The only thing I have left from Westfall actually takes us to Red Ridge. So maybe that's where we're going next. We do have a dead mines quest. We do have a Deadmines quest. I, I don't know how many dungeons we're going to be doing on this character while we level up. I really don't know. Need tank and DPS. Well, that's not us, guys. They've got a paladin and a priest, but they need a tank. Th their pally should probably just tank. Yeah, I don't know. We, we, could put ourselves, we could put ourselves in, you know. That's about all we can do. I, I'm not going to be forming a group uh, on this character right now. And we'll see how that goes. Uh, I'm not too keen to do a lot of dungeons on the Alliance side. They don't have access to a lot of good dungeons easily. They can't do Shadowfin Keep without a pain in the ass traveling. They can't do Scarlet Monastery without a pain in the ass traveling. Uh, they can kind of do Black Fathom Deeps. What can I do? Basically, you, you get you get Dead Mines, Stockade, and maybe you can do Black Fathom Deeps. And the rest of it, you have to go deep into Horde territory to get anywhere. And yeah, I won't I won't be doing a lot of that, so. See you soon. So I can't say we'll be doing a lot of dungeons as we level up. Any of the dungeons that we do on this character will probably be in Outland. Hey there. Have a good one. Uh did we just take another quest from him? Is that what we did? Do we No, I think we're good. The Elgaz Gauntlet we have up here, level 21. Report to Mountaineer Rockgar. Uh, okay, we need to head over here and talk to this lady. Our High Elf friend. What brings you here? Be cool to be a hunter, we can get a quiver. Okay, yeah, that is it. Let's let's go ahead and hearth back. What can I do for you? Couple of things. Can equip the ring. Sell the quiver. Equip the cloak. Uh, we got some shoulders, which is pretty crazy to get shoulders at level 15. Even if they're gray, I mean, I'll take it. It's extra armor. So yeah, there we go. Perfect. Can't argue with that. 
Uh, I think we need to go ahead and uh, maybe equip these. I don't know. Maybe not. Sell them. And that is all we can do. We are starting to get a little bit of uh, wool. So there, we do have some wool now. Alright. What's on your mind? Off with you. And we have a couple of more quests here to pick up now. Great to meet you. Mountaineer Rockgar is looking for volunteers for a mission through Dun El Gaz and into the wetlands. Uh, negative. Good. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. We're not doing that. Uh, what about up here? This is the El Gaz Gauntlet. We could, we, there's a little kill quest up here we could do. Oh, this is Mountaineer Rockgar. Okay, well, I mean, if we're gonna go up there to do his kill quest, we should probably just take the breadcrumb that leads to him. But yeah, I don't even know if I want to do this one, to be honest. Keep your feet on the ground. Uh, it's probably an easy kill quest. We still have stuff to do over here. That's fine, we can do that. We probably could have done that, like, before hurting back, but I'm gonna take a break here, guys. Yep, yep, it's time to take a little bit of a break. Uh, I'm kind of getting to the point where I'm kind of done here, honestly. This quest is kind of a pain. I don't really want to go up into the wetlands at all. Maybe we'll go do the breadcrumb. Uh, but that might basically be it. Kind of want to get out of here. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe we'll go to Red Ridge. Maybe I'll do some more stuff here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to think on it, take a little rest, and decide next time. Thank you guys for being here. I really do appreciate all of the continued support on the series. Take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other and we will see you back in Azeroth really soon. Bye now.